up a little bit on Greg Moore. Force him into a mistake. Meanwhile, Moore, just 22 years old, looking for his first career win. Final lap, Moore leads Andretti. Two corners remain for Michael to try to close up on Moore. Only 22 starts in Moore's resume. Could this be the day for Greg Moore and the players team from Canada? I don't think Michael has enough but time. There, Moore thinks he has it won with his fist in the air. He takes the checkered flag and resets the record as young. Of the tires. Do they have the stamina and the judgment? To the strand. How much throttle can and Gujelman slows. Blundell bursts into the lead as his teammate slows out of fuel. And now Greg Moore has a decision to make. I could have passed him for second. Can I pass him for my second consecutive lead? Bruce McCaw and the team looking on. It's all in the hands of Mark Blundell. Blundell in the middle of the racetrack, defensive position, Michael Andretti doing the same in what is now third place, oh, and Blundell slows, Moore, Moore, Moore is at the lead, Blundell is out of fuel, and it has all come apart for the PacWest teammates, victory, second straight win for Greg Moore, Michael Andretti second, Jill DeFerrin unofficially third, and Jimmy Vassar, a near we have had four different winners in the first four races of the FedEx Championship for 1998. Will we get a fifth in as many races? We're about to find out. 1.8 miles to go for Greg Moore. Battle lap. This is going to be incredible. Because now it's a drag race down to turn four. And that's the last breaking spot. Alex is really going to have to close in under breaking here. Zanardi is renowned for his bonsai moves in the closing moments of races. Is he close enough? There is Mark Blundell moving very slowly, letting the race leaders take the corner first. He took it in there deep, but I don't think he has enough. Zanardi back on the throttle, but I don't think he'll do it. Greg Moore, sudden victory, the third of his career. Zanardi second, and the celebration breaks out in the Forsyth Racing Pits. Got a little bit of a break there. And keep in mind, those guys behind are plenty fast, too. 17 cars still in the race of the 28 starters as Jimmy Vassar, winner of the inaugural US 500 two years ago, brings them to the line, and Zanardi is on the move. And even with that jump, so look at Zanardi. He dropped them right around the outside. Five laps to go. Ten miles remaining of 500 at Michigan. I think Zanardi hit that little extra power button right there. Could have been. Hit the button that gave him a few extra revs exactly when he needed it. Right up to the 15,000 RPM maximum. Well, let's see if Scott Pruitt called it and said you do not want to be leading that last lap. Here comes Vassar up high around his teammate. I've got a button too, Padre. Zanardi and Vassar behind him. It's Pruitt, Moore, Bobby Rahal in there. Richie Hearn. And look at Michael Greg Moore in the blue car. Yep. He's coming right down along oh. Jimmy Vassar. Close. And let's not forget, Scott Pruitt's been in this position before. Oh, and smoke on oh. Jimmy Vassar. Smoke on the right side of Jimmy Vassar. That's Pruitt just behind. That's Zanardi's car. That is Zanardi oh, I'm so, in second. I'm so excited up here. I got the cars wrong. Look at that smoke uh -huh. down there. Zanardi slowing, came down the inside. He wants those points. Is he going to try to nurse it? No, he's going for it. And there was another very evil sounding car out there further back in the pack. And look at this. Here goes Here Moore. Moore. Moore going for the lead around Jimmy Vassar. And even over the roar of the engines, you can hear this huge crowd with a giant roar as Moore goes on top. And here comes Jimmy. He's coming back around the outside. Threw it down low for third. Oh, and Zanardi has still got his foot in it. And look at this. This looks like the first lap of the race. White flag next time by. Vassar and Moore. Zanardi has dropped back a few car lengths. Pruitt has dropped back behind him. Moore 
tried to look underneath. Not having it. It appears that these two men will decide it. White flag for Jimmy Vassar. Zanardi attacking for third. Make that second. Oh, will they go three wide? No. It is a ploy by Jimmy Vassar to back off a little bit, get Greg Moore's trapped, and see if he can snooker him on the last lap. Moore, look at Jimmy coming. Here comes Zanardi. Does he have the horsepower despite that smoke from the back of the car? Greg Moore draws to a couple of car lengths away, and he will win the U.S. 500. And I believe Jimmy Vassar hung on for a second over his teammate as Alex Zanardi's engine coughs its last. And I can tell you, Scott Pearl was right. You don't want to lead the last lap. Greg Moore passed him, and look at that. The 17th different winner in 19.5 mile race. And as he comes off the corner, Michael closes. Still, it's going to be a very dicey last lap. I don't think he can do it. 1.9 seconds was the interval across the line as the white flag comes out. There's Michael Andretti in pursuit now. But remember, if the engine would falter at this moment, things could change. Oh, what a great gamble they've taken. And it looks like, in fact, it may pay off. Greg Moore up off of turn three, now off of four. Looking at the checkered flag. The gamble pays off. Greg Moore takes his fifth career win. His fourth on an oval. Now we're going to take it back. Second comes across.